Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Zoya Natural 5 collection. This is Zoya's kind of transitional collection, it's supposed to help us go from winter to spring. They do one every year, so this is the fifth iteration of this. Do they do it every year, or have there just been five of them? I don't know, but this is the fifth iteration. This is the Natural 5 collection. So this is available right now. I will link the Zoya website down below. There are five polishes in this collection, and then one Zoya Hot Lips that is missing. Instead of a sixth polish, Zoya has been doing these Hot Lips Glossy Lip Balms and putting one of these in as like the sixth item in the full collection. This one is in the shade Sweet Tart. It's this kind of medium berry color. Uh, mm, these aren't really my thing. Uh, I don't have any problem with the formula or whatever, but I just don't, I'm very particular about what goes on my lips. I feel like any color, any kind of sparkle or anything makes my lips look bad because I really don't like them. So I tend to avoid things like that, but that's not Zoya's fault. That's my own issue. Five polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Chelsea and this is a very, very light, light pink. Zoya describes this as a powdered blush cream. First of all, I apologize for the orange staining around my nails. If you're going to use self-tanning lotion, just washing your hands is not enough. You're going to need a nail brush. And I learned that the hard way. Anyway, this polish was a little bit more sheer and a little bit more streaky on that first coat than I was expecting it to be. I thought this would have a formula more similar to the other polishes in this collection. That's kind of the formula that I've come to expect from Zoya polishes in general. That being said, this was not bad. I am just really, really picky. So I did need three coats for this one to cover completely. You might be able to get away with two, just depending on your application and your preference. Again, I say I am very picky. I think the average person would be okay with this in two coats, but for me, I did need three. So that is three coats of Chelsea. The next polish is called Sutton, and Zoya describes this as a muted pinky nude cream. This is more of the formula that I was expecting to see from Chelsea. It was very nice and creamy and opaque. It did cover completely for me in two coats with no streaks, no issues. I should also mention that this wider paddle-shaped brush that you're seeing here is the Zoya Z-Wide brush. This is a separate item that you purchase and then you swap the brush out for the skinnier brush that comes with the polish. These are $2 a piece. They do get a little bit cheaper the more you buy at a time, but it is a totally separate purchase if you're interested in having a brush this wide. So that is two coats of Sutton. The next polish is called Evan, and Zoya describes this as a softened saddle cream. This was another one that had really great coverage. I did need two coats for this to cover completely, but I was very impressed with it in one coat. I think it was like borderline one coat polish territory, just not quite there. And all of these polishes, aside from Chelsea, which I had a little bit of trouble evening out, have all leveled themselves really well and smoothed themselves out really well as they settled and dried on the nails. And I'm definitely not trying to sell anyone on the Z-Wide brush because I'm not a huge proponent of selling that separately. I think it should just go in the bottle. I know not everybody agrees with me on that, but I don't like that it's a separate purchase. But I do think that for me anyway, it does help quite a bit with evening everything out. So that is two coats of Evan. Next polish is called Parker and Zoya describes this as a warm grage. It's taupe. This was another really good formula. All of these were fantastic, again, aside from Chelsea, which wasn't even that bad, but pales in comparison to the formulas on the rest of the collection. And this was another really great, even, self-leveling, smooth, nice formula, covered completely for me in two coats, but I was very impressed with the coverage on that first coat as well. It's not a one coater, obviously, but it was impressive. This one also does dry a bit darker and almost a little bit more purple to me than it is when it's wet. So that is two coats of Parker. And the last polish is called Elise, and Zoya describes this as a gentle aubergine cream. And this, again, was another nice, solid, even, self-leveling two-coat polish. Again, very impressed with it in one coat. I think this is one that you might be able to get away with in one coat if you really wanted to. I don't think I would, but I can see where it's possible. 
And I'm also really, really loving these five-piece collections that Zoya has been doing lately because I'm really liking Skittles manicures where you do like a different color on each nail. And these are perfect because you can wear the whole collection on one hand and not stress out about which polish you need to exclude, which is maybe just something that I stress out over, but I definitely do. So that is two coats of Elise. So when I first looked at this collection, I actually thought Chelsea was going to be my favorite because I always tend to gravitate towards the very, very light, very pale um, pink shades. This is like a little bit pink, but I would consider it a pink. However, Sutton actually ended up being my favorite once I put it on my nails. I liked the formula. I liked the formula of Sutton better, and I actually liked the color a lot better too. It's a little bit dustier, a little bit deeper, and I just thought that this looked a lot nicer on my nails than Chelsea did. I still like Chelsea, but Sutton was a surprise favorite once I got the swatches done. So that is the Zoya Natural 5 Transitional Collection for 2022. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the Zoya website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.